If your air conditioner isn't cooling like you used to, you might be wondering, is it low on refrigerant? Well, today I'm going to show you how to get some real clues using just a basic thermometer, no gauges, no HVAC license, just a smart way to think like a tech without opening the system. Now, the best thing you can use is an instant read thermometer. These are pretty cheap. They're only about 12 bucks on Amazon. Most people have these in their kitchen and it works just fine. And what you wanna do is we wanna start off by sticking it into the strongest blowing vent in your house, uh, right where the cold air comes out. Now, the one closest to the unit itself is ideal. If your system's working right, you should be seeing somewhere around 55 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit or in that ballpark. If you're seeing anything above that, your system might not be cooling like it should. Now, whatever that temperature is, just hold on to it, put it aside. Next, we want to check our return air temperature. Now, this is usually at the big grill uh, where the air gets sucked into the unit. Um, it's the air from the house. Your thermostat usually tells you what this temperature is or it should be close to that, but we want to take that temperature as well. Now, what you want to do is you want to compare this supply air and return air temperatures and see what the difference is there. Uh, generally, what you want to see is 16 to a 22 degree difference. Now, if it's lower than that, something's wrong and that is a possibility that you're low in refrigerant. Now, I know there's a lot of videos out there that teach you this, but what I'm going to do now is give you additional temperatures you can take to verify this. So now we're going to head to the outdoor AC unit, and you're going to go to the big copper line that's going into the unit. It's usually insulated. You want to peel back the insulation, take that temperature, and that is your suction line. Generally, it should feel a little cold and sweaty. Um, and you want to make good contact with that copper. Now you should be reading somewhere around 35 to 55 degrees. Now this temperature is going to move around based on a lot of ambient conditions, how much heat is in the house, uh, but you do not want to see it below freezing point of water, which is 32 of course, and it certainly shouldn't be warm. Now we're going to check the small copper line. This is your liquid line. Um, and this one should be warm or even hot. Usually the temperature on that one, you'll see somewhere in the ballpark of 85 to 100 degrees. Again, this is gonna depend on the ambient conditions. Now, if that feels like room temp, that is another sign you may be undercharged. One last temperature you can take is of the hot air that's actually blowing out of the top of the outdoor unit. This is the heat that's actually being removed from the inside your home. And that temperature should be somewhere between 10 to up to 30 degrees hotter than the ambient air outside. Now, if it's just a little bit warmer than outside, say maybe only five degrees, that is another sign that you may be low on refrigerant. Now, if you're actually low on refrigerant, you should see all the signs through all these temperatures. Between your supply air and return air, that will be below 16 degrees. Your suction line will be below 32 degrees or the freezing point of water. Um, if you're really low, it could even be warmer ambient temperature. If your liquid line is significantly less than say 85 to 100 degrees, and if that air, the temperature coming out of the top of your unit is less than 10 degrees, even down near five degrees, these are all confirmations that work together to tell you you're low in refrigerant. And the lower these numbers are, the more refrigerant you're going to need to add. And that's it, that's all there is to it. It's that simple, no special tools whatsoever. You can pretty much tell with confidence if low refrigerant is actually the problem you're dealing with.